A digital wallet is a representation of a payment method or a saved payment method that lives on your device. That is an easier way, a one-touch method to pay for something or donate online. The most familiar digital wallet and one that's been around longest is PayPal. Um, Venmo would be considered a digital wallet. Apple Pay, Google Pay, Visa Checkout, Amazon Pay really is just encapsulating a, you know, an existing payment method or relationship you may already have with a bank or a credit card company is digitizing that, that method so that it's easily accessible. Over the years, retailers have struggled, right? Like how do you use digital wallets? Now we're here 13 years ago and instead of having just one digital wallet, there are many of them. And I think the one thing that you want to keep in mind through the history, how do you increase conversion by making it easy for your customers? So when we looked in the audience, everyone that's used a digital wallet, I think 95% of the people actually raised their hands but when you talk about you, your organization's actually using digital wallets, it was a very small percentage. And so you need to start thinking about what you want is the same thing that your consumers want. And so the history has been very slow for people to kind of adopt, but it's what consumers expect. I know it's what I expect whenever I go somewhere to shop or to donate, that I don't have to put a lot of information in and I just need to make a payment with my digital wallet. You know, most importantly, all of this is mobile. Last year, 27% increase in mobile donations. If I have to pull out my credit card and I'm sitting on a train or in a taxi, I'm likely not going to donate. I'm gonna say, I'll go back and do that back on my desktop. But if there's a mobile wallet available, whether it be Apple Pay or something along those lines, I'm probably gonna donate right at that time. Really the challenges that I've heard nonprofits tell us is, is simply that the platforms that they were using in the past didn't have the capacity to use a digital wallet. Perhaps they had some level of PayPal integration, but they didn't have Apple Pay or Google Pay. The conversation moved a little bit away from the validity of digital wallets and more towards consumer-friendly experience as a goal for an organization looking to raise more digitally online. We all know our average donor is getting older, right? And these are the young millennials who have a ton of money in their Venmo account, and they just send it back and forth between each other. And what we did about six months ago is enabled them to take it outside of just sending money back and forth and give them the ability to actually make a donation or make a purchase. And so that makes the consumer feel fairly comfortable because they know it's their method of payment and it's how they expect to pay. Save the Children and March of Dimes, seeing great success because they're capturing a younger audience that they haven't captured in the past. Having a call to action in the middle of an event uh, where you have someone text a number, when someone clicks through to make that donation and they see an Apple Pay, Google Pay, or PayPal, or Venmo button, it's kind of instant and it doesn't require, especially in that moment in which they're reacting to your appeal, it doesn't make them do much more work. It's easy for them to transition to be a donor in that moment. What's really exciting about Digital Wallet is that you know, we're getting the information about the donors, but I also want them to not have to tell me all those things. And also the information in there is is accurate. You know, someone's not gonna misspell their first name in their digital wallet, but they may do that in a form that they have to fill out. No matter how that person pays, whether it's with a digital wallet or by typing in their credit card or by linking a bank account, you're gonna know where they donated. And that data flows through like any other donation as if it was typed in by hand. That helps remove steps from a process that could look really long and arduous. And when someone's in the spur of a moment, in fact, I was reading something that said that it, you have eight seconds to get a donor from that moment of excitement into the completion of this process or else they kind of fade away. That's how little you know attention span you know, some folks may have. And so to allow them to see in a single screen like on malala.org, a suggested donation amount and a button that would fulfill that in one click, that's extraordinarily powerful. Um, one thing that I really love about digital wallets is that it's detecting what is already on their system. If you are a Google Pay user or you are a PayPal user, you know, it's doing this sort of ping to your system to see, oh, you already have an account, this is integrated, you can move forward with this preferred payment. Through the experience working with Malala Fund and knowing the level of usership of PayPal that they've experienced, but also hearing and witnessing a trust level in PayPal increase over time. Some people are finding themselves more comfortable with some wallets, for example, than, than 
entering their credit cards directly. You know, consumers are starting to expect this. You know, we have a pretty young audience mm -hmm. um, and we want to be um, receptive to, to their needs. We've got a lot of mobile users. We were looking at redesigning our website and looking at the, the donor experience. Um, it, was, it was basically how can we get people through that process very quickly. In our old system, we had people going off to a different site, so there'd be a long form. We want to convert those donors and we want to get them back to learning about our work. If you go to our homepage right now, there is a embedded donation form in the center of the homepage. You just get through the process and you're still on our homepage and it's very quick. There's, there's a lot of benefits. For us, it was really an exciting addition to our, our redesign. Make this trustworthy, make this safe, make this clear. Our default payment is a one-time $25 gift and a ton of people just do that. You can go to malala.org slash donate is above the fold. I mean, there's no scrolling. It's like one click. It's just like, yep, done. But of course, you want to be clear that there are other ways. Have a field for entering their amount, uh, changing the payment method, uh, allow the donor to give in the way they want to give. If a donor emails us and, and really wants to donate by check, I, you know, we provide the information on how to donate by check. Keeping it simple and straightforward and um, finding amounts that make sense for your organization. A digital wallet capacity through our platform enabled digital wallet acceptance right on Malala.org itself. So Give Lively can host your page and you can send people there or, you know, which is unique I think, to actually allow the wallet to live in the context of, for example, the homepage. Um, is really powerful and I haven't seen it to, to that level of efficiency and that felt really good and, and that's been paying off. So, you know, you're here to help push your organization forward in some piece of technology and to inspire conversation. That's really encouraging. Thank you.